What a wonderful Savior is Jesus. What a wonderful friend is He. For He left all the glories of heaven came to earth to die on Calvary. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King.
Everybody's on camera, right? Camera running, so everybody's gonna be on camera. So you don't mind. everything else, I'm gonna take the letters for me first of all. Shaves in the boot of the lemon tree. Come to the cafeteria here. You were still pretty good. I'm gonna get out. Hello, alright. Hello, alright. You good? Pops are the original pops. Alright. Come, Ken, take a picture of your whole wife. Yeah, you think so? No, 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 no. You will take one with him then. No, no, no. Thank you. 
It's hard to focus and see who's here. So I try to get it. Yeah, you, you can't take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I told him. You got to go. It's our family. Okay, you're gonna have. This is the family. Big family. What are going on, Minos? Bless up, bless up. The old guy left way. Mina, the guy left way. We're so reaching up. I'm not rushing to come, but I come in. I come in. My oh, man, Bella. Bless up. Bless up. Yeah, man. You don't touch up, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
everybody for being here. Let's just have a moment, just a quiet, just, just for a moment, just before we let the balloons go on the game. Thank you. Three ladies and gentlemen, we'll let all our balloons go together. Three, two, one. Let them all go. Thank you everybody for being here and your loving support. Hey, you ready to go? Thank you. Thank you. And the grounds of the cemetery are open at 3.30 till 7 o'clock this evening if you wish to come along to the cemetery later this afternoon to pay your respects to Gail. God bless you all. Thank you so much.
Aussie. This is Casino. <laughs> and that over there, guys, that's Jim. <laughs> they have nice feeties. Wait, you can't see their feet. But we're just going to pretend that they have nice feet. <laughs> As you can tell, Ozzy has left his present. Here's after the famous Ozzy Osbourne, if uh, anyone wanted to know that. That's all I have to say about him. His story is uh, a bit more boring than Cass's, unfortunately. Jim, he is, uh, well, he is born and bred right here where we are. He has been doing this for 14 years, if I am correct. <laughs> he has no idea what I'm saying. He uh, loves driving his horses, always has. Yep. And does he's just not on me. <laughs> again. That's for talking about Jim. <laughs>
must have been my boyfriend, he's at work, he must have ordered me food. And um, so I took it anyway, the guy went, oh, well, it's for your, um, it's for your house anyway, so take it. So I took it, sat down, thought I'm absolutely stuffed up from the tunnel, I can't eat this pizza. So I've got two pizzas sat there and thought, what do I do now? So I left it on the
rain or something. And then we don't have to throw it out. Do the little slip.
be a few minutes, folks. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two
Middle hand, left hand down, bottom underneath. Very far down, sorry, left hand down, bottom underneath. Come on, let's step up. Pause for a moment. Just pause for a moment. journey but you've been there and I'm sure she'll have been very proud of you for all your efforts. Special welcome on behalf of Tony, her beloved husband and I know you're all family right? <laughs> you're all family so God bless you all. And it said in the word of God you know when Jesus went to the well he went to Mary and Martha I don't know if you know that story when her brother Lazarus had died and Jesus said to, to Martha, he said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. 
he who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. That is indeed a mystery, but that is the truth. For the child of God who believes in Jesus, though physically we die, because the Bible tells us that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, but Gail will have a new body which will inherit the kingdom of God. So bless the Lord. Just a bit of housekeeping. Um, if anybody wants to use the conveniences, the you go towards the back, out that double door. The gentleman is to the right. Is, yeah, my right. Yeah. And if you wanted to go to the ladies, there's another double door you go through, you walk across, and you use a disabled toilet because the ladies are out of order. And then you all come back in this way. It's a bit of a one-way system. Okay? Praise the Lord. Well, without any further ado, at this time, I'm going to invite my sister Marva, a uh, minister friend, to come and to just pray the opening prayer. So would you be upstanding, please? Okay. <laughs> good morning, every, good afternoon, everyone. And God bless you all. And I offer my sincere condolence to you, each and every one. And may God strengthen you in a very special way today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you this afternoon, Lord, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, for this day as we come to celebrate, Lord, the life of your daughter, Gail. Father God, we thank you for what you did in her life and as you saw it fit to call her home. We thank you, Lord, for today and I just want to lift the family before you at this time. Lord, we know that Sister Gail is safe in the arms of Jesus. She is rejoicing, but she leaves behind many that are mourning her loss. And you are the God of all comfort. And I pray in the name of Jesus this afternoon that you will comfort each and every heart, Lord, that is affected by the passing of your daughter. We remember especially Tony, her husband. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will just flood his heart and his mind with your peace and with your strength. For your word says that you will give strength to your people and that you will bless your people with peace. And so, Lord, in the name of Jesus, minister to each and every heart this afternoon. And as we celebrate your daughter's life together, may it be a time of rejoicing, though it is mixed with sorrow. Let it be a time when we remember, Lord, the good times and all that she meant to each one. Father, we thank you and we ask, Holy Spirit, that you will take control of everything this afternoon. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now we are to have our first hymn, which is Our Great Thou Art. Now because of the restriction on singing, we're going to have that play. So just let the Lord minister to your heart as we remember how great God is, how great thou art. Oh God, my God, without me. 
while we deal with that technical itch. Praise the Lord. How great thou art. Amen. Amen. Then sings our soul. How great thou art. God is great. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So while we get the uh, mic sorted, I'm going to welcome uh, Mr. Ken Skeet, who will be reading from Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 to 7. And he's very prepared. He has his word with him. Mr. Scott. Good day. This day is a day of rejoicing and is a day of mourning to many of us have stony to which I respect and my son. Gail was a very loved person within this family. A person with a great heart and
This day bring back memories. Far, far, far away. From the depths of my heart. For Tony and my son Ken, they do a great job. But we have to rejoice in this day. And who want to cry, cry? Margaret had four sisters. Gail, four, four, four daughters. Gail, Jackie, Mandy, and Haley, to which was so loved. We never had much, but we had loved one another. Shame with one another. Gail will give you the last penny to anyone. Gail will give you anything. Money ain't mean nothing to Gail. Money. Gail just buy a, a set here of a good, the best clothes, and if you, if you want it, she give it to you. And that's how Gail is. Now, as I come up here with a heavy, I just ask about chemistry. Before I read um, um, Revelation 21, I would like to read um, 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 Revelation 20. Verse 14 and 15. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. These are the words of the Majesty of God. Now I will read Revelation 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first earth and the first heaven, for the first earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. But there and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven. Prepare as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrows, nor the crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Amica, the, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that at thirst of the foundation of the water of free of life freely. He that overcome it shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. And he that overcome it shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Amen. But the faithful, okay, okay. <clears throat> 
He that overcome it shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. These are the words of the Holy God. This these words. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. He said, bless, let's be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Mr. Ken Skeet, for that wonderful reading. And now we're going to be favored with a tribute or a poem or a song by Danielle Jarvis, which is Gail's niece. Um, I'm not going to do a song, I'm going to do two poems instead. Um, before Auntie's passing, everybody on me, she said she's accepted. For everyone else not to get upset, just carry on with it as well. For everyone that loves her and has heard those words, these poems are res would resonate. Oh Lord, please don't feel guilty. It was just my time to go. I see you were still feeling sad and the tears just seemed to flow. We all come to earth for our lifetime and for some it's not so many years. I don't want you to keep crying. You're shedding so many tears. I haven't really left you, even though it may seem so. I have just gone to my heavenly home and I'm closer to you than you know. Just believe that when you say my name, I'm standing next to you. I know you love to see me, but there's nothing I can do. But I'll still send you messages and hope you understand that when your time comes to cross over, I'll be there to hold your hand. And the last one is miss me, but let me go. When I come to the end of the road, and the sun has set for me. I want no right in the gloom-filled room. Why cry for a soul set for me? Miss me a little, but not too long, and not with your head hung low. Remember the love that we once shared. Miss me, but let me go. For this journey is one that we all must take, and each must go alone. It's all a part of the master's plan, a step on the road to home. When we are lonely and sick at heart, turn to God we know, and bury your sorrows in doing good deeds. Miss me, but let me go. when you're grieving, come up here and to share. But God bless you. That's a wonderful poem. So, you know, it's always a comfort, at least I find it a comfort, to remember, to speak of the person, to remember the joy, remember the times you had. And God uses that to help to ease the pain. Amen? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. We're just going to invite Kenneth now. Kenneth Skeet, Gail's son, who I know is responsible for this wonderful program and has been a very tremendous help in supporting Tony and the rest of the family. So he's going to share with us the eulogy. Kenneth. Truthfully, who was she? One thing I know for sure is that she was made of tough stuff. <laughs> Not the normal tough stuff, the exceptionally tough stuff. To me, she was a hero. Due to the amount of lives she changed and the dedication in doing so, she raised many children 
boys and girls, many of them my own, which kept her hands full and her pockets empty, especially at Christmas and birthdays, which uh, never once she complained about, and which I'm eternally grateful for. Her sisters called her the Iron Lady, and she was like that to the end and beyond. Through her love of God, she was given the gift of unwavering strength and courage. And during her illness, she showed us all how to deal with difficult situations and times. You know, I don't want to leave this as a bad thing, you know, like as, a, as all sorrow, because my mum wasn't about all sorrow. So, you know, I just, I'm, I'm thankful for everyone that's here that's made it possible for this to, to come together and every single individual person that has, that has played a part. I know Mum will be very grateful and very honoured. On behalf of the family, on behalf of my mum, who are, who are, I don't know, it is what it is. I love your mummy. That's it, it's just from the heart. I love her, I love her, I love her. No one can't love her no more. It's just me, no, it's where it is. No. There's, there's most things that are real, there's no words to actually describe them. You know, there's, there's a lot of things in life that no words can describe them. I've got nothing for no one, for no one, bro. It's at the end of the day, this is, she's coming to peace. She's had a rough journey. She showed strength during it. She's, she's kept a character. She didn't want no crying and no pity. So that's exactly what we're going to do and that's how we're going to go on and forward as a family. The same way we come together to put her in the ground united is the same way we will go forward. Amen. Amen. Well done, Kenneth. You know, he said I didn't have time. I said just speak from your heart and that's his heart. And I like the ending that he said, now you've come together as a family to put Gail to rest. And I'm sure that her greatest joy will be that you would continue to support one another and be a family. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, before we go to the open tributes, I'm going to invite Tony to give his tribute. And then we'll probably leave. It's all dependent on time. It's not going to be very long. Probably... 10 minutes for some open tributes. I'm going to ask you if you can keep the tributes to about two minutes, then we can get more done. Okay, so Tony, if you're able. You can hear this? Yeah. One, two, one, two. Everybody knows here from a long time. I know say the strength is there. Mm -hmm. We've been together for a long time. I met her years ago. I was in working in a factory. She used to work in a calf. I was in my overalls, jacket. She used to hide in the back when I come. <laughs> said, hey, call out girl. I'm like, I said, girl, let me see her. And then it just snowball from this sir. Uh, the snowboard. But the main thing I want to say, I believe in God and I believe in the resurrection. And I just know, say, anytime the tear come when the Lord bring her out, anybody see her, he just let her know, say, yo, he might look for you, ain't he? He might look for you, man. Now I'm going to know where. Please, if you can just do that for me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Tony. Thank you, thank you. That's very brave of you. Yes, and I know the Lord is your strength, and He is the one that is strengthening you as He has been strengthening all the family. 
Now we're just going to open, as I said, uh, yeah, just about 10 minutes. It's going to be strict. So two minutes at the most. If you can make it shorter, fine. So I'm just going to leave that open now. Who would like to be the first? As we said, um, words can't explain how an Amisa our sister. However, we have got another sister, it's eight kids, and she sent a message of what she'd like us to say for her on her behalf. From since I met my sister Gail, we always had a good relationship. And for the past couple of weeks since you was sick, you was in my thoughts. God knew you were suffering and knew you was in pain. He knew that you was never going to get well on earth again because he was going to need his angel. I will miss you, my dear sister Gail. Rest in peace. Don't but will never be forgotten from Jennifer and family. Does one finish? Another come? Any of the grandchildren? It's the same poem. poem. <laughs> God looked around his garden and found an empty place. He then looked down upon the earth and saw your tired face. He put his arms around you and lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. He knew that you were suffering. He knew you were in pain. He knew that you would never get well on earth again. He saw the road was getting rough and the hills were hard to climb. So he closed your weary eyelids and whispered, peace be thine. You broke our hearts to lose you, but you didn't go alone. For part of us went with you, the day God called you home. This is mine. We're still open. to say that I'm, you know, I'm grateful to have known my auntie and to have had her in my life. You know, like Kenneth said earlier, she's touched a lot of people, even me, and the memories that I have, you know, it's something that I'm, I'm as I said, I'm grateful for. So, Auntie Gal, thank you for everything that you've ever done for all of us. We love you. Oh, my 
again Mr. Skeet to come, Mr. Ken Skeet, and read our second reading, which will be taken from Psalm 27, verses 1 to 14. This doesn't actually work, Ken, so just speak up. Reading from Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fall. Though one who shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fail. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon the rock. Now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore I offer in his tabernacle, Sacrifice of joy, 
I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry, hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou sayest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant to win anger, thou wilt be in my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in the plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for a false weakness has risen up against me, and such as breed on cruelty. I had fainted, unless I had believed, to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait. I says on the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you again, Mr. Skeet, for that. Praise the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be of good comfort, and He will. He will. It might not seem that you'd ever be comforted but he will strengthen your heart. Right now it falls to me to say a few words of comfort, a few words of encouragement to you at this time. Now, about exactly three months ago, on February the 14th, because I kind of checked back my text, was when I met Gail and Tony. Um, the, I had the bishop from Hansworth because Gail used to go to Hansworth Church back in the, in, the, in the years and your own aunt, Lorraine, goes there, yeah. So the bishop, Devonton, rang me and said, you know, we've got somebody in Castlevale and they're asking for somebody to come and to, to sort of share with them the word of the Lord. And so I said, fine, yeah, I'll be right on it. And so I was, I contacted Tony, I spoke to him, we set up the appointment, Andy, Minister Andy and myself, we went along and it was such a joy to meet Gail and Tony and to be invited into their home to share about Jesus. And you know, we shared about Jesus, we shared about his love, we shared about his mercy and his grace and his goodness. And we shared about what is the problem that separates man from God. And it is called sin, it is really disobedience from God, it is really not taking uh, any, not including God into our lives. And God, you know, he doesn't just want to be included in our lives, he actually wants to direct and take over. We invite him to be saviour as well as Lord. And we shared with, with them from John 3.16 in particular, where, God, where the Bible tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have eternal life. And they were so open. In fact, when I went there, I would say that Gail had already made her peace with God. And I just went to sort of share with her more, you know, to give her more knowledge, more understanding and what has actually taken place and to just affirm her in her decision to serve the Lord. And Tony also made a commitment for Jesus. And, you know, we have sort of, where possible, been visiting with them every week since that to share the word of the Lord, to bring some encouragement and to pray with them and to bring the comfort of the Lord. So that's how I met Gail. I actually, I fell in love with both of them. You know, they're such a beautiful couple. Tony was so attentive and loving to his wife, you know, and it was so wonderful. It was a wonderful time. And we shared the Lord's Supper because I brought it with me and it was wonderful. It was a beautiful occasion. And Gail said to me, you know, she, she, she's not afraid. 
She said, I have the peace of God. And I've always sensed that peace. And I'm not afraid. I said, Gail, do you want to go or do you want to stay? <laughs> she kind of thought about it. She said, yeah, do you think I'd like to stay? I said, okay, we're going to pray to that end. But, and she stayed around for a while, praise God. But God, the time came when God saw fit to take her home to be with himself. So today, we are not sorrowing as one without hope. We have an amazing hope in Christ Jesus, our Lord, that this is just a passage through to be, the Bible said, for me to die, Paul said, for me to live is Christ. That means my life is Christ living his life through me. And if I, when I die, it is gain because the Bible tells us that somebody who dies in the Lord go to be with the Lord and to wait for that great resurrection morning when we shall have that new body where we shall always forever be with the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I just want to share a couple of verses from 1 John chapter 4, 16 and 17. It says this, For we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love. And whoever abides in love abides in God. And God abides. What does it mean? God dwells. God remains. God lives inside of your heart, inside of your spirit. When we commit and believe what God tells us about himself. So God just don't just visit with us. Sometimes we just visit with God. Yeah? Something happens, times like this, we visit with God. But God doesn't just want to come to visit. He wants to come in and to stay and to dwell. Because by this is love perfected with us that we may have confidence for the day of judgment. Gail has confidence for the day of judgment because as he Jesus is so also are we the body of Christ in this world so the basis of, of Gail's peace the basis of Gail's confidence was that she had a believing and a doing faith in Jesus Christ as her saviour and Lord. It's not enough just to say, okay, I know a little, I believe a little. It is that we have to put that believing into action. Yeah? In meeting with Gail over those weeks, I'm just checking on my time, in, she said to me, she said, I have one regret. One regret. Anybody has a guess what that may be? No. No, okay, I'll tell you. She told me. She said, I have one regret, that I didn't make this decision earlier. Yeah? And I said, okay, what's gone is gone. And then in talking to her as well, she said she also expressed a wish. It may not have been the only one, but she certainly expressed this wish for to me. And it was a wish that all her family, all her sisters, her children, her grandchildren would come to know and believe in the love of God that she had come to know and believe in. Yeah? Gail has gone on. We are here to tell her story. I kept saying to her, somebody needs to hear your story. I didn't hear all her story because I didn't meet the old Gail. I met the new Gail. I said, if anybody be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new in Christ Jesus. So I met the new girl, who was full, although yes, sometimes it was hard for her to speak. It was hard, you know, because of the coughing. The last time I met with her was the Sunday before she died. And I went upstairs, you know, not, you know, it was just myself, it was Andy and myself, but I had the privilege to go upstairs. We chatted for a little while. She was sitting on the bed, she was coughing. She said, you know, sometimes I just feel like just giving up. But then I said, no, I'm gonna fight on. And we say, fight on. 
we're with you, we're praying for you. But it came a time when she, well, the Lord just called her and took her out of her pain. The Bible said in Revelation 21, which was read, which is a beautiful scripture of the hope that we have in Jesus Christ, that there will be a new heaven and there will be a new earth and the former things will have passed away. And Jesus, when he was here, he said to his disciples, look, I am going away, but don't be troubled because I'm going to come back again. I am going to prepare a place for you that where I am, that is where you will be also. So it talks about the new heaven. It talks about the new earth. It talks about all tears being wiped away. It talks about no more pain, no more sorrow, no more parting. You know, there's a song that say, no more sad partings. Amen? No more sad partings because we're going to be together with the Lord. And then, you know, and, and Brother Ken read it more than once. He said, he who overcomes. So there's something for us to overcome. Yeah? There's something for us to achieve. Shall inherit all things and I will be his God and he shall be my son. But you know, we don't have to wait until that new heaven and that new earth to become a child of God. The Bible says to everybody that believe, put their confidence, put their trust, submit and surrender their life to God through his son Jesus Christ. He has given you the right now to become a child of God. And he is there knocking at your door saying, let me in. Let me come and have a meal with you if you will open the door to your heart. Somebody said, it is knocking on your every person's heart door, but the lock can only be open from the inside. Yeah? Because he never forces, he never pushes, he never demands. He shows us his love and he leaves us to make the decision. He leaves us to make the choice. And somebody said, choose. Somebody said, I put before you life and death. Choose life. Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and that you might have it in abundance. And he said, choose life. So Gail chose wisely. <coughs> she chose life. And because she died with that life, in her, she will live on with that life. Because however we die, that's how we're going to stay. Yeah? If we don't choose life now, it's, this is like the dressing room. If we don't choose life now, we're not going to be able to choose it again. Yeah? Somebody said, wherever the tree falls, that's it. Whatever state we are in, when we depart this life, that is how we're going to meet eternity. <coughs> what the Bible says and I encourage you and I'm sure Tony would encourage you and anybody of the family who have tasted and seen that the Lord is good would encourage you choose life now he didn't read verse 8 and I can understand why because it says but the cowardly the unbelieving the the murderers, the sexually immoral, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So, the unbe we might look at that list and we might say, well, I don't fall into that category. I don't fall into that category. But are you believing? Are we falling in the unbelieving category? Because it's no good just to say, I believe in God. I have a, yeah, I believe there's somebody up there. Yes, I believe in the creator. The belief must be such that we make a decision. That we take action. The Bible tells us that faith without works is dead. It's like if somebody is dying and you say, if you drink this water, it's going to help you. And they keep saying to me, Janet, I believe if I drink this water, it's I will not die. But they won't drink the water. If they don't drink the water, they will die. But if we drink the water. So Jesus said, whoever believes in me should not perish, but have eternal 
life. So it is about the believing. It is about the trusting. And it is about the committing of your life to Jesus Christ. Who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And he said, no man come to the Father God except through Jesus Christ, his only son, who came to give his life to pay the price for my sins, for my disobedience, for my unbelieving, that one day I can today say, I am a child of God. And that is what I offer you. That is what Gail would have liked if she hasn't already told you that you too would receive of this wonderful new life, this wonderful abundant life, this wonderful eternal life that she is now experiencing in a greater measure than we are here. So I just want to encourage you to take that decision and do as Gail did. It was such a beautiful Sunday afternoon to share with them the word of the Lord and to hear them pray and accept Jesus as Savior and Lord. And I'm coming down, but I'm just going to share with you just a couple more scriptures because some of you might be saying, well, what do I do? What, how do I do it? How do I, I believe in God, but what, how do I get that peace? How do I get that assurance that if I die today, I will be with the Lord? Yeah? The Bible said in Romans 10, but what does it say talking about the word of God? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. And if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation for the scripture the word of God says whoever believes on him will not be put to shame praise the Lord thank you for today thank you for the privilege of sharing this day with you as I said Gail has a very special heart place in my heart and Tony as I said my only regret was that the other members of our fellowship didn't really get to meet them apart from Andy and myself so they have to wait now until they get to heaven yeah so <laughs> I'm just to come and to just share the final prayer. He may have a little bit of a tribute of his own and then we all will be done. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank God for the um, opportunity to be able to meet Sister Gay at the same time as my pastor and also Brother Tony as well. They're a lovely family, lovely couple. And I just want to thank God for that day and also I can see the passion in her that she really, you know, fully ready and accepted the way of the Lord. I'm going to pray at this point. I'm going to pray for the family. I know it's a difficult time. At this time, no amount of word can heal or see you through. But God, Jesus Christ, is more than able to heal you and see you through the whole process. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray. Can we all stand for the final prayer, please, if you can? Father Lord, we bless this family that mourn internal God with the comfort of your love that they may face each new day with hope and eternity that nothing can destroy the good that has been given to this wonderful family. Nothing will shake their mind. Father Lord, may their memory of Sister Gay and may their memory of one another become joyful. Their day enriched with friendship, Father Lord and their love encircled by your love. 
Father, I thank you, Lord, for this day. I bless your holy name. I thank you for every one of them. I thank you for the decision that most of them will be taking today or later on. Father, I pray that you will visit each heart. As you continue to knock on each heart, Lord, I pray that they will open it unto you to know more about you, Father Lord. Whatever, wherever or how they are feeling the pain, Father, I pray, my Lord, my God, that you will comfort their spirit mind. Father Lord, I thank you for a brat Tony. I bring him before you. I commit his life unto you, that he will continue to walk in your path. At this time, I know questions will be asked, but I know you have answer for every question. And I thank you, Father Lord, for the children, for the grandchildren, for the sisters, for the siblings, for every members gathered here today and those who are not able to gather because of the situation that is around. Father Lord, I thank you for their life. I pray, Father Lord, that your power will continue to move within them, Lord. That your protection will encamp around them, Lord. Your grace will guide their path, Lord. Father, I just give you praise. I thank you for everyone who have taken part in making today a success. I pray for them as well. I thank you, Lord, for the undertakers. I thank you, Lord, for the camera crew. I thank you, Lord, for the ministers. I thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. We give you praise, we give you glory, honor, and adoration. And we say, let everything that has breath within us begin to praise the living God. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Andy. Let us, while we're standing, let's just say the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship and comfort of the Holy Spirit be with you all evermore. Amen. Um, we're just going to give you a few minutes that you can, you know, share, just reflect, um, and when you're done, we'll be ready to depart.
I'll get behind it. Oh, no. 
snowboard. Yeah. <laughs> the floor now. Just gonna have a chat with everybody and we're gonna commence. Ladies and gentlemen, just as we carry Gail to Graveside, yeah. who's operating the music, sorry? Uh, Can we just gently just drop that down just slightly, sir? Bless you. Thank you. So as we carry Gail to Graveside, ladies and gentlemen, please be mindful of your step in the ground. is firm but a little uneven in place. As we walk towards the grave, we're going to all follow around, gather around, we're just going to have a little prayer and a little blessing here at the graveside, and there'll be an opportunity for you to cast a little bit of soil into the grave, place your beautiful gift of a flower into the grave. Just have a, a short time here at Graveside, just close with Gail, just for a moment, and then we're just going to retire back slightly, just to allow the cemetery staff time just to close the grave. It will only take sort of 12 or 10 minutes, and then we're up enough with all these beautiful flowers, create a beautiful garden for Gail, place all the flowers around the grave, and then Pastor will just lead us with a final blessing and the grace, if that's all okay. So just mindful of your stepping, take your time. And again, with social distancing, everybody comfortable as you are, we can all gather around as close as we're able to do so, and then everybody can come forward in their own time and place their beautiful flowers into, into Yale, if that's okay. Alright? Okay, bless you. So, we're just going to just take a step to the side for me, just to give the gentleman plenty of space, and then we're all going to follow along. Alright? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, Yeah, 
share just a few words with us here just before the points. Okay. Bless the Lord. Thank God for being with us for today up to this point. Father, we just want to give thanks again. We want to give praise. Lord, we honor you. We bless you. We thank you for the beautiful sunshine, for this beautiful spot. We just want to give honor and praise your name just to be with us for the rest of this afternoon. We give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Keep holding, guys. Marv is just going to sing, uh, and then we'll just do the communion. Just, it won't take very long. <laughs> What a wonderful Savior is Jesus What a wonderful friend is He For He left all the glories of heaven Came to earth to die on Calvary Sing Hosanna Sing Hosanna Sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. He arose from the grave, hallelujah, and he lives nevermore to die. At the Father's right hand interceding, he will hear and heed our faintest cry. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. He is coming someday to receive us. We'll be caught up to heaven above. Oh, what a joy it will be to behold him. Or oh, sing forever of his grace and love. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of kings sing hosanna sing hosanna sing hosanna to the king amen praise the lord okay you may commence the lowering quite sure which way it goes whether they put it down first <laughs> Like a double grave is deep. Next, it's a double. Wow. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And now, to the loving care of our Heavenly Father, we commend the spirit of our dearly departed sister girl to the ground. And we commit our body to the ground. And if the members would like to, anybody want to take some of the soil? Tony, would you like to take some? As we say, earth, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, departing anticipating the great resurrection when the dead in Christ come forth 
with a new body and endless life with Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Rastafari. So ja. at, this, Rastafari. at this time we can allow the we can retire and allow the grave diggers to fill the grave. We'll come back, uh, put the flowers on and then we'll sing a few more songs as we do that. Okay, yes, you can do that. Thank you. God bless you, dear. Anna. Every time. for a while and then we'll return. Mm -hmm. 
their children as well. Mm. Is that the sister there in the green suit? Is that one of your sisters? Yeah. All right. I need to talk my friend. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go because we're gonna see Jacqueline yeah. and everything. Yeah. And they're finishing. So we'll just go one time and. Yeah. 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 And um, we finish reading it. Opened his eyes. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. But Psalm 27. He was saying how Psalm 27 was given to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he was in a coma, he was taken to the hospital, the ambulance broke down on the way mm -hmm. and anyway he was in a coma but then some, it sounds some, some, some like a vision or a dream like and there was like a rainbow and like he was in this rainbow and God brought to him Psalm 27 and then he looked, his eyes looked down to verse 14 mm -hmm. and, um, and I think at that point was when he woke up after the coma. Had it not been for the Lord? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's actually that was the question I think I'd asked at first, but I'm whether he had really got me, I don't know. Mm. And then he started to share with me this Yeah, yeah. How are you girls? Are you all from Birmingham? Yeah. Yeah? Which part? Neutral. Neutral? Okay. Are you what? Related? Yeah? Cousins or sisters? Are oh, you all sisters? Okay. Are huh? your Gail's nieces? So who's your mum? I don't know the sisters. Okay, okay. That's your mom. Okay. Okay. So what? Gail, oh, she's younger than Gail. So who's so who's the eldest? Um, the eldest is Jennifer. He's in ten kids. Yeah. Okay. Also, Gail. Are they all girls? Are they all girls? Yeah. Okay. Right. So is it all girls? Okay. So all right. the sisters have girls. Oh no, no, they got. But um, my grandparents have all girls.
steed that grace appear the Hello. 
Hi, how are you? A lot of space up here, guys. A lot of space up here. More space up here. Oh, there. Take any pictures. Yeah, what, what time is it? What time is it now? 51. Okay. All right. While they, um, I'm just gonna. If you turn down the music for me. Thank you. Thank you. Let's just finish together, okay? And then if I will leave just a couple minutes. If you want to take any photographs, that you can do that. Yeah. And it says, then I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, right. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on, yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. Let us pray. As we leave here the form of our dear beloved Sister Gail, I pray that the comfort of God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ and the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit will be with these who sorrow. Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever Amen. Amen. And we'll Amen. just be singing a blessing for you while you may want to take a couple of pictures. All right? So, the mm -hmm. Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Just get out of the way. <laughs> 
Beautiful gardens, how nice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely stunning. Doubted I'll have you while trying to know. Well, I'll have you trying well. Cleaning up like you do What a beautiful garden. Absolutely stunning. And what a lovely service throughout the afternoon. The weather couldn't have been any better for us. The scale certainly shining down on us this afternoon. And the pastor has done a lovely service at church. And, and, and the lady as well, just accompanying with some nice music here at Graveside. Um, <laughs> The grounds reopen. Unfortunately, we do need to leave to be able to come back. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but we do just need to leave. And then the grounds reopen at 3.30 until 7 o'clock tonight. So feel free if you do want to come back in your own time and yeah, have yeah. a drink with Gail or just, just come and just keep company or just have a little bit of time or just whenever you feel as though you want to come and visit. The grounds reopen daily from 3.30 till 7. Of a weekend, it's about 12 o'clock till 5. Okay, so Saturdays and Sundays, but feel free to come and spend some more time with Gal this afternoon if you wish to do so. Mm. I think the boys all done so well, and I know we had a couple of ladies participating as well in carrying mm. Gal in and out of church, and she was like the queen being carried mm. in. It was so graceful, so well beautiful. Mm. Um, but well no, done. thank you so much, Pastor. Bless the for Lord. Some, for being so supportive. Bless the and, Lord. Um, and getting to know Gail as well the way that you yeah. did on this journey Amen. that she's been on. And, you know, Tony, I'll take my hats off to you mm. and Kenneth. You took a lot of your shoulders and you know, a lot of love. Mm. I help a lot of families. You're a very special family. Mm. And yeah? Daniel mm. Bless you. Thank you. Um, and thank you so mm. much mm. yourself. Yeah. Means a lot. From you took yeah, that into your, to your you. home, Bless you. I've never seen anything done the way you've done Re it, mm. and with the respect you've done it. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, yes. Yeah. My hat to you Bless and your team. Amen. Bless you. Yeah. We should, I just wanted to know that you know that Gail was safe when she was with me. No, we we met as strangers, we leave as friends. Yeah. And that's how it should be. Yeah. But, uh, but no, you all should be so, so proud. Thank you so much. Thank you, lovely words. So, I have all the lovely photographs and you know, we're from church and we've got all the arrangements. I didn't leave them at church, Tony, I have got them. <laughs> so, but, uh, yes, but no, let's just have a few private minutes and then we'll retire back home. You might want to slip into something a bit more comfy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might want to come back this afternoon and have a bit of time. Oh, yeah, right. don't forget you've got that sword in your pocket to keep. <laughs> right, don't put that suit in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, what's in this? Amen. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you Thank from you. me and Marva. Yes. Bless Bless you. Bless Thank you. Bless allowing you. us to be a part of this journey. Yes. Yes. All right, then, Mr. T. Bless you, my bro. All right, enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. God bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you.
Jesus Christ, that my heart to Thank you very much for watching the live stream. This has been the main camera. We have been streaming with two cameras, both streaming. The other one was what we call the alternative one. They're both on a similar website, JSPV. This one has been JSPV3. The other one is just JSPV, no number after it. So um, you may be able to uh, have a chance to watch that one. All these uh, cameras, plus the extra cameras we've used, which has been recorded at a much higher quality than what we stream at, these will be edited over the next couple of weeks and will be available, I expect, on the same uh, web page for you to, uh, to view. So please come back, wait to hear for about when it's ready. Thank you for watching today. From myself, John Stevens, Photography and Video, and Daniel Ross. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God.